Hello everybody. This is Trinity, Red or Blue Pill. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog. And I'm glad that you are back with me. I apologize that my stream I just started before uh, was offline and I didn't know it for a little while, so I hope this time it goes a little bit smoother. So, last night, or I should back up, if you've not heard of Marfugal TV or Marfugal News or MarfugalNews.com, I highly recommend checking it out. I've been grateful to be a mod on his channel and it's been an incredible incredible way of um, learning lots of different things that are going on and he had a very interesting um, topic last night on all the sounds that people are hearing worldwide and I think I might have some answers now I'm not saying that I do because I know that I know nothing the great Socrates argument but I'm gonna read this article and I'm gonna play what this sounds like. And I'm hoping that when I play it, it doesn't knock me off, and it very well could. And if it does, please bear with me and I will come back. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much, Randy Newman, Brian Woodring, Jeffrey Beaker, Pono, for being here. I'm so glad that you are. And I'm hoping that when I play this, that you will be able to hear it okay. So I'm gonna try playing the sound first and it's not a pleasant sound, so bear with me. I'm probably gonna scare everybody away by playing this in the beginning, but I'm hoping it will play, and then I'll come back and read this article and go over what the ITER is, and CERN, and what China's doing with their sun that they've created. Hi, Susie Q. And how it all connects together with the Department of Energy, the Black Ops, the Fermilabs. Labs, and the deep underground military bases and marine bases. So I'm going to go ahead and try and play this sound for you on this article, and then I'm gonna read it to you. And if it goes well, we will, we will be here together on this. I'm hoping this doesn't knock me off. crazy. So, yes, this is the Takamak and the sound. Yeah, I think it sounds surprised. And I think, think it could, let's just go through this together real quickly. And I uh, want to welcome anybody who's just getting here. So I'm glad you're here, Susie Q and uh, Panto Math and Ronald Betts. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so atoms scream when they fuse inside a reactor and the sound is frightening. Now this is back in 2015 and they are going to start up a very huge experiment in Southern France in 2020. So let's just kind of go over this real quick. It says that a magnetic chamber of plasma fusion reactor using the same physics that light up the sun, fusion reactors promise to generate almost infinite energy on Earth. Physis' favorite, favorite type of fusion reactor uses plasma. This, these machines heat up a gas until it's so hot and its atoms are moving so fast that the particles slam together and combine to release an extraordinary amount of energy, often hundreds of millions of degrees hotter than the sun. The ultimate goal is to capture that energy and convert it to electricity and the Tech Insider learned during a recent tour of the futuristic reactor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Fusing atoms make a loud and eerie sound. Now, this ITER is going to be, it, it is in Southern France, and everything, all the components are being made here in the United States underground, and China, I believe, um, I'm going to all the technical, of all the different places, There's 30-some countries involved with the Bilderberg Group. So 
I think that this is a very huge reason for the booms, the strange sounds, and the earthquakes with the um, boring and the tunneling to create all these things while they keep us looking up. It says that uh, one place that's still trying to figure out how to harness fusion energy is MIT's Plasma Science and Fusion Center.